Distinguished Senator Omer. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Victor Ume, OFR. I represent Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, this my motion seeks to protect local manufacturers in the procurement processes in Nigeria. In this case, on the ongoing national mass metering program of the federal government. Urgent need to protect local meter manufacturers in, in the ongoing national mass metering program of the federal government. The Senate notes that the duty of industry procurement regulators in every development economy, first and foremost, is to protect its local manufacturers and would only try to augment through the importation of goods and services where there is a clear cut gap between local production and consumption. The Senate also notes that the members of the Association of Meter Manufacturers of Nigeria, AMON, are capable of producing world standard smart meters. Hence, the Transition, Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, and the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC, under phase one of the mass metering program of the federal government issued the association after a competitive bidding process a letter of no objection to award 4 million meters in 2022. Aware that the Central Bank of Nigeria also in 2020 undertook to fund the National Mass Metering Program, Phase 1, but after eight months of awards to local manufacturers, withdrew funding which affected the workability of the program. Also aware, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, that the World Bank has approved a loan of 155 million US dollars for the National Mass Metering Program, worried that the ongoing World Bank funded NMMP, that's the National Mass Metering Program Phase 2, seeks to promote foreign companies' participation against competent and pre-qualified local meter manufacturers will ultimately result in the loss of jobs and revenue. A deliberate policy to prioritize local manufacturing will catalyze job creation and economic growth. Informed that the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, on behalf of the World Bank, closed bidding advertisement on July 11, 2023, and further extended it to July 25, 2023, that's when, next week, Tuesday, for the supply and inst installation of 1.2 million smart meters to the 11 distribution companies in Nigeria. Cognizant that the bidding criteria put in place, which can only be satisfied by foreign companies, have totally marginalized and eliminated the participation of 35 local competent meter manufacturers. Also cognizant that the current bidding criteria do not only negate some policy initiatives that will facilitate the establishment of a local metering industrial base with its impact in terms of generating employment opportunities for Nigerians. It also enables loss of revenue to the nation by granting these foreign companies additional concession of a concession duty waiver of 45%. Alarmed that if the bidding process continues as it is, the outcome would be disastrous to members of the Association of Meter Manufacturers of Nigeria who have invested billions of Naira in the sector and currently employs 10,000 workers directly and more than 30,000 workers indirectly. Concerned that if the federal government and other stakeholders do not make urgent intervention, and indeed this Senate, the ongoing World Bank funded National Mass Metering Program Phase 2 would ultimately encourage foreign company participation, loss of jobs and funds to the detriment of local manufacturers and causing economic retrog retrogression. Accordingly, the Senate resolves to one, urge the federal government to immediately suspend the Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN tender for World Bank funded National Mass Metering Program Phase 2 in order to undertake 
comprehensive review of the procurement criteria to prioritize local manufacturing and assembling in line with local content and backward integration policy that catalyzes local capacity building, employment generation, and the economic growth for Nigeria. To also urge the Transmission Company of Nigeria and other stakeholders to negotiate and engage the African Export Import Bank, AFREXIM, and the African Development Bank, FDB, for alternative loan if World Bank loan conditions do not favor local economic growth at this critical time of massive unemployment and devaluation of Naira. I so move, Mr. President, this is my motion, and I believe it was the attention of the city senators. This idea of uh, giving us a loan and we bring people from outside to come and uh, utilize the loan, and our manufacturers will continue to suffer. Our people will continue to lose sources of, sources of employment. This Senate is invited to intervene in this regard. Thank you very much, Mr.